Hi everyone, welcome back to Alt Red with a Gun. This is episode 8. Thank you so much for your continued support on this little series here we're doing. It really means a lot. Despite forgetting to ask you guys to like the video last episode, we still pretty much hit a thousand likes, so um... <clears throat> yeah, I've trained you guys well. Uh, but yeah, this is your reminder. Uh, I actually have a button. Hold on, I'm pretty sure I can just... I can manually do this, right? No? Okay, it doesn't work unless I'm streaming. Just like the damn video. Thank you. I've not recorded in a little bit, so let me... Uh, get up to speed with what we're doing here. Ah, uh, yes, we got like a, a B team going on. I remember. So we covered Lavender Tower. Now we're moving on to like, I guess just like the next areas of the game. We should probably buy a crap ton of great balls because I am trying to complete the Pokedex after all. Money does not seem to be a problem in this game. We're picking ourselves up a Snorlax. You know, I always hated catching Snorlax as a kid, but they made it worse because they gave him curse. Bars, kind of. Oh, the full HP sleeping capture. Let's go with the final rest Pokemon. A malevolent spirit that has possessed a deceased Pokemon. It moves about by dragging itself along. That's actually really creepy. If anyone didn't know, if you use the item finder right where Snorlax was, you find yourself a pair of uh, leftovers. I'm pretty sure, yeah. Pretty sure that's just base fire red. <clears throat> I'm just not realizing my throat sounds kind of weird, so sorry about that. There's a very good chance that I am under the weather. All right, Exegu Horde can go back here for now. Uh, I do want to use Monster eventually, but I'm actually more concerned about Darth here. I think it evolves at level 25. That silhouette is looking a little different than what I'm used to. Let's have a look. What are we? Oh my. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Ah, uh, wow. That's actually terrifying. Comparing this to the 2021, the 2021 wasn't bad, uh, but the, the new one is just a drastic improvement. More unique posing. It's got the little, you know, the eyes inside of it. One of its eyes are actually open. Like, wow, this thing is this thing goes hard and you know i'm actually one of those weirdos that genuinely enjoys using wobbuffet in playthroughs so uh i say we maybe keep it for a while oh wow it learns trapping moves and counter destiny bond encore definitely have to do encore i think encore is genuinely maybe like like my favorite pokemon moves are like u-turn volt switch flip turn kind of like all in the same sort of respect but encore is up there for sure i love encore a trapping move is a bit redundant because we have arena trap arena trap is actually its only ability as well so yeah we'll we'll, we'll ignore that we'll just do the standard well this isn't even i think usually wobbuffet does safeguard instead of encore i actually i don't know we'll just do this wobbuffet set this is what i'm comfortable using oh wait hold on Oh, oh, okay. I did not know about this part down here. So something I'm really confused about, I sw like, I had a shiny one of these, didn't I? I don't know where it went. I, I, I didn't, I, I, don't, I don't know what happened. I literally can't see it. I, I might be just completely blind, but I, I don't, I don't know what happened. I'm very concerned. Whatever. In the meantime, we're gonna come over here to Route 16. I've not actually been here yet. Oh, a Steedra. <gasps> yes. Oh my god, yes. I have to use this guy on the team. Making ca car Pokemon before Game Freak did. We're just gonna take this one out. Wait, actually, he's got leftovers. I should probably catch him. And then if we come here, we get another pair of leftovers. So in total, we have uh, four leftovers, which I think is more than enough for one team. So something I thought was funny that I'm gonna just talk about. Uh, I don't want you guys to go back to the last episode and hate on this person or whatever, but like someone commented about how, the thing is this could be just complete, like like my viewers just being ironic and kidding, but like someone commented how they were no longer gonna watch the series because I started using rare candies. They're like, oh, rare candies, it was fun while it lasted. Wow, they made this a 120 base power move. That's phenomenal, insane. To be fair, it's an average of 60 base power a turn. Anyways, yeah, this person was saying they weren't going to watch the series anymore because I started using rare candies. And I just think that's so funny because when I was doing grinding, first of all, the reason why I, I started using rare candies was so I could give you guys more content. I don't like using rare candies if I can help it. I, I feel like I've got a much more attachment to my Pokemon when I just level them up legitimately. But in the, a series like this, where it's kind of just like a reskin of Fire Red, and I'm going to be using a lot of different Pokemon, I think using rare candies is fine. It's not even something I'm like bothered by or like trying to debate. But like, I, I just thought about it. Like, I, I wasn't showing any of the grinding i was doing on camera anyway so like all you get out of me using rare candies is more content but to me it sounds like almost like a more of like a mindset thing of like oh I'm, i don't want to support cheating so i'm gonna stop watching or something like that and if, if that's the case like i'm literally playing a rom hack <laughs> 
like there's bigger there's bigger things you should be worried about here just doing some spring cleaning these are the the potential guy although these are the actual pokemon i've used on like a team i guess these are the guys i want to eventually use maybe probably not this guy realistically i'm not even sure about Elvion at this point so i might actually nord mobile mainly these two i'm gonna put these guys amongst the rest of the normies and then these guys are two potential future team members they just don't evolve till a bit later so we'll worry about their level cap actually thinking about it the next level cap is like in the like down near late 40s all right next step we got to get through this uh route Wahoo. as if i need more money so i forgot to pick up the bicycle all right let's go level 38 oh my goodness okay we are under leveled there's the guy i'm 99 percent sure this is exactly what he used to look like so no comparison needed <gasps> motorava this is what we're looking forward to a little bit of an upgrade not gonna lie he used to look a little uh, silly now he's looking a lot more compact a lot more i mean i guess he is a vehicle but i don't know i wouldn't really ride it because there's no proper seat looks more pokemon like i would say all right it seems level 38 is the vibe for this which honestly i could probably just get my a team back but i, I quite like this team actually it's kind of fun and level 39 is now the, the the meta i guess what oh it's impact tress it's fortress i at least not, yeah no that's definitely fortress which used to look like this i think i could see this one honestly being a pokemon that people used to prefer the old one of the old one was very good. The new one is a lot more unique, though. I like it. Haha, <laughs> it's the guy. I have to use this on my team. It's my wife's favorite Pokemon, after all. She did say she wasn't a big fan of the evolution, but I think she thought that it had a beard when it actually doesn't. So if I show her it up close, then I think she'll realize it doesn't have a beard and she'll like it more. Oh my god, the Kangaskhan. I remember this one exactly. I think this is exactly what it used to look like. Yeah, no changes here. I don't even know what it's meant to be. Kanka gone? Oh my god, I can just try to catch him as a motorava they are unable to be controlled by humans like normal vehicles making it dangerous to just jump on a feral one aha i was literally talking about that that's really cool also has anyone else been playing this watermelon game <laughs> it's literally called the watermelon game or uh, i think it's suka suka game oh my god you are awesome kind of look like you just let out a nasty fart but really cool but yeah if you have been playing it let me know your high score my high score is like 2500 or something like that it's not great i'm trying to get 3000 just like everyone else yeah this ludicolo is ridiculous he looks awesome ew okay i like that this is my vibe i'm not really a big fan of mamoswain which is hilarious because in pokemon unite it's i mean it, i've not really played it much in pokemon unite to be fair i don't really play that game much anyway but i do like his playstyle a lot in pokemon unite and pyloswine actually carried me in one of my uh pokemon emerald rogue runs so like i do like i don't know i i don't know i like it but i, I don't really care for his design uh but yeah this thing looks really cool uh it used to look like this which was good uh but they definitely improved on it here zephyron okay that's somebody that's uh no that's espion right I don't know if we actually looked at this one yet, so yeah, this is definitely Espeon. Yeah. Uh, that's interesting. I feel like some people might like the old version more. That's a that's an interesting change. If you told me this was Hitmonchan, I mean I would probably believe you because I can I can I can kind of not really. I could honestly believe that this is a new Pokemon. There's like nothing of Hitmonchan left besides the the, the pose. Oh ho, 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 ho. Hey, yo, Taurus, Taurus. All right, this is what it used to look like. Oh my God, what an upgrade. What an upgrade, man. I love it so much. I would genuinely use that. Uh, Commandine and Pilo. Pretty sure the Taylo is the same, but let me double check. Yeah, the Taylo is the same. Mantine actually changed. Mantine used to look like evil. Now he, I don't know, he, I guess he's got like a headset on or something. I don't know what he's doing. He's got a job now. He became employed. Something you guys should consider too. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's mean. You guys are great. Jobless or not. I'm really intrigued to see what my final six are going to be because like, I, I, I feel like it's going to be really hard to come up with. There's so many good Pokemon in this game. They're slacking, which I'm fairly certain remains the same. Same with Magmotar, actually. I do remember that Magmotar sprite. Yeah, that's the same Magmotar. I quite like it. Oh my God, Saiga, yes. Oh my God, okay, this might be one of the best Pokemon in the game. I absolutely love it. The thing is though, right? There are people out there that hate Reverum. So like, I know there's gonna be people that hate this. This is what it used to look like. A little bit of an abomination, not gonna lie. Uh, they vastly improved it. I am in love with this. Wait, Pega, Pega, Pegasep? And Kari, Kariotra? I, there's a lot to unpack here. Giraffe Rig, I believe 
was kind of just cleaned up a bit, honestly. If you look at its rear end. Oh yeah, the face is like turned around now and, and it's looking forward. Yeah, giraffe rig was cleaned up nicely. And uh, this guy is just, he's just a completely new man. What a, what a, he was literally just a fusion before. Tentacruel is ready to throw tentacles. Thorsering, which is very obviously a reference to Thor. Uh, big improvement though. Uh, he used to look kind of insane. I still don't really like the design, but it's a big improvement. Get out of here. Core Force. What is that? I mean, it's core fish, but like, what is, I can't really see it because of the HP bar. I mean, it's infinitely more interesting than what it used to look like, at least. Here's a close up. Yeah, that's really cool. So I think for the most part, we made it through. Fuchsia City. So the next gym is Koga and uh, the level cap is 48. But before we do any of that, we're going to go to the best place in Kanto, the Safari Zone. I do genuinely really like it here. We should probably catch a bunch of these, huh? I quite literally run out of Pokeballs because of this Pokemon. <gasps> Yes, let's go. We get to use the other starters. Chico Ride takes bath in, in mud twice daily. It helps keep their skin hard for battle. I finally caught another Eevee. Jesus Christ. Rockaboom just out in the wild, huh? I really don't like this. I literally just caught this on my last ball. I'm so happy. Let's go, dude. Level 34, this thing evolves. Absolutely love it, man. It's time for us to go deeper into the safari zone. I love this baby. Cock and balls. <laughs> No way, dude. So this is what Mr. Crime used to look like. <laughs> oh, the name is hilarious. Believing itself to be the ultimate martial arts artist, it challenges 64 Pokemon a day to a brawl for Wii U. Interesting. Oh, we call an Ivysaur. What the? Okay. What are those? He just looks like he's in agony. Before he was just a guy with hot hands and now he's like actually a unique pokemon what the hell okay a oh, nice punch tm that's really nice all right that's about as much as i'm willing to work on the safari zone right now we picked up some pretty cool new mons though oh man the fact that this thing's adamant is like man i really should use this huh ice types are winning this game you know they're doing so good i guess i should get these evolution evolved it's just so like i'm it's done you know because they're a little confusing i'm not gonna lie so we already did a moonstone so now we do a sunstone we got zephyron so now we do a thunderstone we got the the multi on ah and then waterstone is to be used on this which gives us glaceons bracion these words aren't in the bible oh it already used to look quite good uh definitely an improvement though uh used to kind of like have mianxiao vibes i don't know the old one was actually pretty good firestone gets us this guy oh yeah we use a leafstone on luxury on we get elvion all right well the last one we need is actually a high happiness evolution there we go as much as i love it i'm not planning on using it so uh Ignore the level. Super glitch. What the? <laughs> uh, okay. Damn, that's sad. I guess Leafeon is just left out of this uh, evolution family. They made strength a rock type move, just like most fan games. Pretty good for our Sharpedo, actually. I've caught 71 type of Pokemon and I get the EXP share, which I don't need. <laughs> oh, yes. Before it was just like a shop it with a color change. Now? Okay. I love this. Silly and playful. What a wholesome Pokemon. Whoa! Roselith? Is this meant to be Roselia? Wait, what am I looking at? This doesn't look like anything I've seen before. It must be, right? This is what Roselia used to look like. Dude, this is insane. This is Callum Core. Hey, I remember this. I like that there's little shuppets on it. Yeah, the old sprite had better shuppets, but the new sprite is just better overall. I'm sorry, there's too many good Pokemon. I have to use this thing immediately. Apparently it evolves with high happiness, which I want. I want that on my team. Thankfully for me, I do have a Soothe Bell. Oh, let me double stop a fairy move. Interesting. Wait, this thing's a fairy dragon? Oh my God god and yeah it's a physical attacker dude i'm in love uh is that a jirachi yeah it remains the same as what it used to look like what about skarmory i believe they're just a random guys with a skarmory okay i mean jirachi skarmory used to look like this uh definitely a huge improvement this thing looks fraudulent as much as i love the color oh my god rosalige okay nah this is this is this is Callum Core as hell. Holy crap, this thing looks insane. They did my girl Rose Raid well. And the thing is, this is what she used to look like. Like she already had that sort of same sort of thing going for her. She, they just improved it. I'm so excited to get this thing. Oh, okay. I thought I had hands for a second, but no. Yeah, before before it used to look a little basic. Definitely a big fan of the change. Oh my God, the Raichu Togekiss combo. Those have both been improved. I can tell you that much. I still don't really like this Raichu much, but the old one is definitely not it. And I don't know if you guys recall, but I actually used Togekiss on my original playthrough. So uh, seeing it improve this much 
Very nice. Oh my god. Steelix is looking a lot creepier than I remember. Yeah, before it just kind of looked like an Electros fusion. Now it actually looks like its own thing and I really like it. And Camerath looks the same. Oh my god. Crodon looks obscene. Okay, before he was a samurai. Now he's like a samurai. Gallade is actually good now. I don't know what the hell that was before, but it was not good. To be fair, I just don't really like Gallade much, so I'm indifferent either way. I really hate this thing, man. So as cool as I think this guy is, I might just retire him. I'm gonna put Sharp Zero in the box for now as well. Let's get these new guys leveled up. Extreme speed, huh? Gyro spin? Wait. Oh, wow, that's really cool. It's just rapid spin, but steel type. Wait, dragon type extreme speed, huh? I absolutely love this thing, man. I'm, I'm so glad we're using this. I wanted to give this thing a go. I don't actually remember what it looks like. So this is the thing that's meant to be like based on Goomba. Oh my word. This is what it used to look like in 2020. You have improved a lot, my friend. Oh, what the hell? Oh, you're interesting. I mean, it it still kind of is just like a color change, like the old one, but like it's, it's glowing and stuff. I think it's much better. Oh, Oh my god yo yes dude they're, i'm literally like spoiled for choice the old one was nice but the new one just has so much more personality i love this i i want to use this man i love the i love the blue accents uh what the hell okay cherry pick i'm sure cherry is one of the main guys so i guess this is like his oc is is this what it used to look like i'm pretty sure I think, I don't know. Servested. This thing looks great, dude. I feel like I'm running out of like words to describe these Pokemon, but like, I mean, look at the comparison, dude. I always say they have more personality, but like they literally do. They're like almost like Disney characters. Yo, this thing is raw. Before it was kind of cool, but now it's literally like just its own thing. I wouldn't even like necessarily immediately link this to Pinsir anymore. I mean, it it's there for sure, but I don't think it would be my first thought if I wasn't playing this game. Uh, wow. You're interesting. Much better. He looked a little silly before. <laughs> what? I don't even... What the hell is that? That's Jellicent, right? What even was that before? He's okay, I guess. I forgot how goofy this thing used to look. I mean, it still looks kind of goofy, but not as goofy. Oh my god. Okay, this thing kind of... I like it, but it makes me uncomfortable. Does that make sense? Before, yeah, I don't know. It It's still Anorith, but it, it's different now. And I really like it, but also don't. I can't explain what, I, I, I don't know. It just looks too like a, like a real bug I would see. I really want to see what Armaldo looks like now. Alrighty though, gamers, I'm going to wrap up there because uh, I think that's definitely more than enough for an episode. So thanks for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, please don't be shy. Go ahead and leave a like on it for me. We are going to continue next episode with uh, maybe a couple gym battles. I've still got this route to clear out a little bit, but uh, yeah, we, we cleared out most of it. Really happy with everything we saw today. Hope you guys uh, are too. This game is phenomenal, man. Thanks for watching.